What's he do? He owns the discotheque. He gave Lorraine a lift home. I don't know what that means. What is it? Well, it's a traumatic experience he obviously never coped with. He was captured by terrorists. Now he's remembered all that, but he's blocked out his wife's murder. Why? Because he's not ready to deal with it now. I need more information about his childhood and so forth, so well, I've hired it? Lester Harlan. Yeah, no. He's very discreet. Who is Lester Harlan? Private investigator. What's he investigating? Michael, his childhood. Why? I need to know more about him, Paula. I need clues. Now, this dream about his mother's death, it's a recurring dream, right? Well, I have to go back and find out where it comes from. <sighs> Michael will never go to a shrink three times a week to dredge out memories about a dead mother. Uh, he's the one that's dreaming, Paula, and sobbing like a child. Those are your words. Now, if his condition gets worse... There's a guy from the Toronto Star on the phone. He's calling about the photo spread they're doing on the church. Could you see if this press release is all right? Because they want to get in today if they can. Yeah. OK, I'm sorry. Thank you. So you may not have any choice. Uh, I think that uh, Lester Harlan can uncover things that will be helpful to us. I can't really involve myself directly because he's not my patient. But if Harlan can find out if Michael's relationship with his mother had anything to do with the breakdown of his marriage to Lorraine, uh, now listen, uh, I want to help in any way I can. Ted? Um, um. Thank you. I'll, I'll call you later. Where's the library? Uh, fifth floor, thanks. has all the clubs downtown. Thanks. This should be what I'm looking for. Uh, have you seen Michael Taylor? Oh, he just left. Do you know him? I just read his book. What are you doing here? Playing detective? Yes. Well, you're not too bad. Well, that's years of Nancy Drew books. You hungry? Mm -hmm. well, let me get my coat. We'll grab a bite to eat. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Okay, honey, let's motor. Whoops, wait a minute. Almost forgot. Huh, good. And one of these little blue numbers after every meal. Come Sweetheart, on. I don't need this. I feel too good. Come on, let's go. Hmm. I promised Dr. Wright I'd play nurse. Well, if you want to play nurse, you talk to me later on tonight, and I'll tell you exactly what my problem is. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Thank you.
sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm looking for the owner of this place. Uh, he's not around today, Fred. Could you tell me where I could find him? Give me another one. Probably D'Alessandro's place. Marbles. Okay, thank you. Michael Taylor. How you doing? Well, Howard, how are you hey, doing? Hey, good to see you. I didn't know you were back. Oh, yeah, I've been back a while. Hey, listen, I got some friends over there. Love to drink with you. Oh, no. Oh, come on, just one drink. I swear it won't hurt. One drink for old time's sake, huh? So, did you have a good time over there? Yeah. Played a little golf with Moisha Diana. Mm -hmm. I hear he's got no depth perspective, is that right? <laughs> Isn't that Michael Taylor? Where? Over there. Oh, yeah. He wrote, um... Parasites at War. Oh, my And I love the book. Thank you. This is uh, Penelope. Oh, Penelope. Very good, pleased uh, to meet you. Good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Great. He looks better in the book, I guess. So. I prefer people in the flesh. Oh, yeah. Stop staring. Oh, Every story coming out of the Middle East did your byline on it. You must be real busy. Get some relaxation. It's women over there. Not that many sheeps either. Yeah. Scribbles a few pages and he thinks he's king shit, right? Hey, listen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Must be slumming tonight. Real bad. I beg your pardon? Hey, look, let's just forget it, okay? And as far as uh, actual... Mr. Taylor? Yeah, Edgar Selleck. Hello? You don't know me, man. <sighs> Damn, you're one of the best writers in the business. Thanks very much. Let me buy you a drink. No, thanks, I got one going. Yeah, well, and as far as the Israelis are concerned, we've seen... Hey, man, all I want to do is buy you a drink. I just told you, I'm fine, I've got a drink. Hey, listen, buddy, what a... Oh, God! What's the matter? Am I not in your league, eh? Oh, man. Just a jerk? Another jerk that buys your fancy paper? Listen, Taylor, you need jerks like me to buy that paper. I've had a few too many, pal. Listen, Taylor. It's all a fraud. It's all a sell of fancy Look, paper. you're a stupid drunk now. Back off. <laughs> 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 Somebody come on. Come on, Michael. Whoa. Back off, back off over there. Come on. Michael. Somebody Michael, are you all right? Hey, you were at college with Mike, weren't you? Sure. Didn't almost every evening used to end like this. It's okay. I'll get him home. Okay. Good night, sir. Yeah, thanks. Is he okay? Are you? Sorry, darling, it's Miles. What do you want? Well, I ran into Michael at a bar a few hours ago. Where? What bar? Uh, I think it was called the Velvet Cucumber. You could look it up in your yellow pages. Stay away from him. Or you'll do what? Send over a Polish cardinal to drive a stake through my Vuitton luggage? I have to see you right away. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a little tied up in a meeting of my bondage and discipline club right now, or otherwise I'd love to. Then when? <laughs> Tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. Don't be late.
Sorry, Paul, it's just me. I came in early. the worse for wear after your little scuffle last night. You were there? Oh, sure. I saw the whole thing. Great display of boozy skull cracking. Yeah, well, I thought I had him there for a minute, but then some clown grabbed me from behind. I'm uh, Larry Miles, by the way. I'm sure you've heard the name. And this is, well, just one of a series of convenient crash pads that I sort of keep my eye on up and down the coast. Who's your housekeeper? You don't incidentally happen to know an eight-letter Arabic word for jelly bean, do you? Ending in A. Do you mind if I have some coffee? Oh. No, help yourself. Incidentally, in case you're confused about my motivations, I don't usually pick up strangers and uh, offer them sanctuary, but in your case, I happen to have enjoyed your book, Parasitic on War. I wish you'd autograph my copy before you leave. Oh, yeah, sure, I'd be glad to. Oh, you don't happen to know where my car is, do you? Yeah, it's parked across the street in the red zone. Oh, it's still there. So is it okay if I uh, wash up? Oh, sure, help yourself. Listen, it's all there. Shower, jacuzzi, sits bath, help yourself. That's very generous of you. Oh, I'm passionate about the Middle East, culturally, geographically, erotically, a whole bit. Macruda, the word you were looking for? It's like a lozenge, a piece of pastry filled with dates. Tastes awful. I thought of that. Thanks, Miles. My friends, uh, call me Larry. $500 as agreed. That's it? You can't do that. You owe me so much. Really? No, I'm not talking about our arrangement. I'm talking about our reminiscences. I don't remember anything about you. <laughs> Upward mobility can't play such funny tricks with the mind, can't it? And that's a pity, because... The story of little Paula Wazinski, the Polish steelworker's daughter, has always been one of my favorites. You're not so listening. 
This is the last time. The last time? That's $2,500. That's right. Do you know what $2,500 buys you today? A box of dog biscuits and a disposable douche. What are you saying? This was our deal. I'm saying that it's not enough. I'm going to the police. Those are swift ideas as to looking for evidence, aren't they? <laughs> On the other hand, what would your fancy clients say if they heard that you were withholding information in a murder case? Hey, baby, you taught me that. Okay, new deal. The condominium in Jamaica is yours. Live in it and stay in it. I can't get over this. Your generosity has left me speechless for once in my life. How refreshing. Hey, wasn't it a lucky break you and I running into each other that night that What's-Her-Face got snuffed? I just ran into some old newspaper buddies. We went drinking. Got into a hassle with a drunk. This guy, Larry Miles, invited me back to his place for a drink, so I crashed there. Who? Larry Miles. Anyway, it's really important is what I found out. I'll tell you, the kid that covered this story originally really didn't do his footwork. I got some good information from Rawlins. Did you know that somebody drove Lorraine home that night? you come out if I promise that you go back. Oh, screw Dr. Wright and screw Longworth, okay? Okay. Listen, let's, let's go to Jamaica. Hmm? Just for a week. And, and, and lie in the sun and make love like we used to. We'll find that... We'll find that man with the earring, you know? Oh, my God, I'm so scared. Oh, you've been listening to too many shrinks. They're trying to throw a scare no. into you. Look, I'm fine. I feel great. I know what I'm doing. Oh, hi, Judith. Um, I broke one of her glasses. Will you take care of her, please? Baby, listen, I want to go and talk to this guy, all right? It's really important. I'm fine. Don't worry. Don't, don't be afraid. I'll call you later. Thanks. 
Hello. I'm uh, doing a little work for Dr. Clifter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you mentioned something about that. Hi there. Rather embarrassing way. I've been following Mr. Taylor around town as per the good doctor's instructions. Following him where? But last night, I, uh, I lost him. I, uh, he gave me the slip. I have absolutely no idea where he is, and I was wondering maybe if you... Uh, well, he, uh, he, he spent the evening with me, and so I, I assume he's still at my house. Oh, that's just fine. That's just as fine. I was a little worried there for a minute. This has never happened to me before. Uh, incidentally, I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention my little slip to the good doctor. Uh, Mr. Harlan, uh, I don't think that Dr. Clifter intended for you to... Well, I've got you on the line, Miss West. I wonder if you happen to be acquainted with a man named Lawrence Miles. What was that name? Lawrence Miles. Never heard of him. Just checking. Uh, have a nice day, Miss West. Yeah. Has, has lost the pin out of her hip, and she doesn't speak English, so I'm going to have to call you at your office later. You just check over what you have to here, and I, I'm terribly sorry, but I... Paula, is your grandmother going to be all right? I don't have a grandmother. I'll just be over here if you need me, Mr. Taylor. Okay, thank you. Della Sandra. You know what I want. I told you what I want. What do you mean by that? Mm. God, I'm tired of your excuses. Oh, you're not the only service station in town. I think you better talk to my associate. Listen, you insignificant turkey. You're blowing this whole thing for yourself. Do you realize that? You're beginning to bore this woman, and that's not a good sign. Yeah, well, you've got five minutes to stop whining and make up your mind, and then we're just going to hang up on you. I'm sorry. But uh, don't hang up now. I said don't. Hang up now. Your five minutes are up. Bye. I'm paying you to stay away from him. I was acting on a humanitarian impulse. Bull. Well, you know Francis, don't you? I recognize the fur. Haven't changed your style much. Just the body. Uh, just what do you think you're doing? Start packing. Condo's yours. I'm being followed these days by a man in a white Studebaker. I don't like being followed because it makes me nervous, and when I get nervous, I say things I'm sorry about later. I just thought you might like to do something about that. Honey, get out the band of Soleil.
Marty? I'm looking for D'Alessandro. OK, Marty, try it now. Hey, where can I find D'Alessandro? His office is over there. Yeah, come on in. Alessandro? Yeah, what kept you, huh? I've been waiting in here all afternoon. Look at it. Look at the speakers are all screwed up, and I gotta have some sound. I don't know anything about, about the speakers. And you're not from the stereo place? Uh huh. Will you call up that goddamn stereo place? Find out what's keeping them. So who are you? I want to know why you had Jimmy Rollins fired. Who? Jimmy Rollins. Used to be the bartender at the rhinoceros. You remember? Yep. So who are you, his agent? What about Lorraine? Lorraine? Yeah, Lorraine Taylor. You remember her? You should. You drove her home the night she was murdered. Who are you, huh? Who are you come busting in here like this? I'm the lady's husband, okay? I'm the guy you thought was away the night you tried to get it on with Lorraine. Wait, 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 wait. Pianissimo, hey, pal, easy. <laughs> Don't jump the gun. I gave your wife a lift home, yeah, sure, but hey, I didn't try nothing. I mean, she was a kid. I got a daughter that age. Oh, sure. Well, I hope your daughter writes you in prison, Jack. What are you talking, huh? You can't pin nothing on me. You want to bet? I got a murder that leads right to you. You're the missing part of the puzzle. You drove her home, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I just told you that. I drove her home. But I didn't stay there. Well, that's easy to prove. You see, the police have a complete set of fingerprints. All I got to do is run a check and see if they match with yours. No way. No fingerprints. What's the problem, D'Alessandro? You don't like the cops? Hmm? You know, I've been doing a little bit of checking on you. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Six months suspended sentence, breaking and entering, 1958. Remember that? Suspected arson, 1968. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's this one. The uh, construction scam in 1974. You've been a very busy guy. They never pinned anything on me. Besides, look at this place. Hmm? I'm legit now. What about the uh, cocaine connection? Pull it a second hot shot. Nobody ever said nothing about me and cocaine. Do you want to hear more? Hey, Taylor. You're a man of the world. So I deal a little coke. Who cares? Even Queen Victoria tooted. <laughs> Look, man, my wife's been murdered. Come on, bastard. Coming on. Steamroller. Easy. OK. Now, you listen to me. I took your wife up to the door and some guy comes what out. What time was it? 8.30, 9, I, 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 I don't know. Dude. This guy, he came out of the house like he was, you know, uh, king of the castle. I figured it was you. Idiot du putana. Look at my eye. You see the stitches in there? Ten stitches. Ten stitches they put in my eye that night. You call the Wellesley Hospital if you don't believe me. Nah, you're lying. That's all right. It's my mistake. I'll just, uh, go to the police and tell them to run a check on those prints, that's all. What kind of an animal are you? I tell you, it was nighttime. Nobody could see nothing. Come here. Here, you check with the hospital if you don't believe me. Look, man, records can be forged. So check the house, then. The guy gave me a shovel and went right through the goddamn railing. OK, I'll do that. Just stick around, huh? I mean it.
Paula West. I'm sorry for the disorder, but they're renovating the building. Come in. We haven't met, but uh, we have talked on the telephone. I realize that doesn't uh, constitute a formal introduction. However, because of the nature of my profession, while you haven't seen me, I have had the great good fortune of seeing you. Uh, won't you sit down? <clears throat> Mr. Harlan, I'm not quite sure how to phrase this. Well, you uh, don't strike me as the timid type, Miss West? I understand that Dr. Clifter asked you to keep an eye on Michael Taylor while he's in town. Dr. Clifter is, uh, is an old friend. Well, any friend of Dr. Clifter is certainly a friend of mine. Oh, that's, that's good. Because I don't want to feel my privacy is being intruded upon, you know, mine or Mr. Taylor's. I assure you, Ms. West, that uh, I am no peeping Tom. I'm sure you're not, too, but I just would feel more comfortable knowing that you're not following Mr. Taylor or, or anybody that he may choose to associate with. You know what I mean? Yes, Miss West, I uh, know what you mean, but uh, Dr. Clifter is paying me to do just that. Uh-huh. Well, I guess we could change the arrangements. You're trying to buy me off, Miss West. You've been far too visible locally. I think it'd be better if you concentrate on the Philadelphia investigation. Well, we'll have to leave that up to the good doctor, won't we? Oh, yes. Sure. Puccini? Rossini. Tinier. All sound the same. 